Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to MK! Today, we're gonna be doing some mad lads of the r slash variety. Zoom lets you set custom backgrounds and I have a green screen and a green shirt, so my co-workers have to deal with my <gasps> for the next two months. Yo, <laughs> yo, is that some head cheese you got there? Oh man, I could go for some head cheese. I wonder if her nickname is BJ because she would definitely get great at <laughs> This, this is terrible. I, I don't I this joke is awful moving on. Ah, what do we got here? We got some nicely dressed young men and uh, what what is happening here? I what am I looking at? Oh Why did it take me so long to see that? What is wrong with me? I don't understand How did I not see this mad lad and his mad laddiness? I I have just wow. Oh boy, oh boy, ew bee. Now this, this is a, uh, this is a f parent. This is a great parent. My driving scares me too. Kids up in this a bitch, send nudes. Honk if a kid falls out. Hey man, I've actually seen videos where that has happened. You take that as a joke, but ah. Uh, Okay, there's a smaller, smaller text there that says, uh, Miss you, ya, you, ya, tit. It just says, it's, a, it's something about tits, okay? It's just tits, and I can't even read the bottom one. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna move on before this parent makes my head explode. So my plan to come out to my homophobe parents is this. Tell them I'm marrying a girl. Then invite them to the wedding and see her look of shock on the, see her look of shock on they, they faces. Um, I reread this like twice now and I just realized this is broken English. This English is not complete. Uh, anyway, invite them to the wedding and see her look of shock on they faces when a whole ass dude walks down the aisle. Is that a good plan? Hmm, well, it would be hilarious. I would love to see their reactions on their faces. But if you're kind of going for a uh, kind of a, you know, a normal, like, ease them into this sort of thing. That's not really the way to go. But if you, you hate them and you don't care about interacting with them in the future, go for it, man. Go for it. I, I just love seeing the looks of, uh, atrocity and bewilderment on the faces of stupid people. Uh, I gotta do, I gotta do this in my Sonic voice if there's a Sonic on this shirt. I'm not a player, I'm a gamer. Players get chicks, I get bullied at school. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of true. Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't put me, don't bring me back to my, my childhood. Please, please, I escaped my childhood with my life. Don't bring me back. Don't bring me back, bro. Apparently, the dude who started Netflix did so because he got a $40 late fee from Blockbuster and was pissed. Pettiness is the greatest motivation in the world. In 1888, Almond Brown Stronger, an egg an, an, an undertaker, noticed that he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in his town. He found out the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator. When she intercepted people asking to be connected to Stronger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later, Stronger patented the automatic telephone exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators. He destroyed a whole workforce. Yes, he did. He destroyed it. Holy cow. That's a mad lad. That's a guy who saw an opportunity and was like, Eh, hey, I've got some strings to pull. I got, I got some actions I can do here. I'm not gonna go under. You're gonna go under, pal. Oh man, if, if that isn't capitalism, I don't know what is. This guy literally named his channel Name, just so he can use an intro template without exchanging it. Well, that's not so much more a mad lad thing. That's kind of like the pinnacle of laziness. <laughs> I I would know I am I'm pretty lazy myself at times and uh, Just like but this this is just this is a whole nother level of lazy This is like if you didn't feel like picking up the remote So you trained your dog to pick up the remote for you. It's about the same equivalence there. 
Oh, 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 I've seen this. I have seen this Pikachu image before. Yep, there's a ditto. There's a ditto Pikachu in the Pikachus. There's so many, a Pika, bunch of Pikachus in a Pikachu with a ditto Pikachu. Hmm. <laughs> I, I love it. I absolutely adore the ditto that got in there. And whoever put that ditto in there did so blatantly knowing where that ditto was going. They faced it outwards knowing everybody was going to see the ditto. He literally just nutted in me and started playing Clash of Clans. Ugh. My son. My son. It's not that it's it's not the whole playing a game after after sex after coitus. It's the whole clashing clans that I have a problem with. There's so many better games than that that horrible monstrosity of a video game to play. Clash of Clans does not deserve your money, my son. Go play something else, please, for the love of God. There's so much out there. So, I've been doing this fun thing recently where I take a cool picture of my friends and reverse photoshop them into a green screen. I consider myself a visionary and a pioneer. I, I gotta give it to him. It is creative, but uh, you, there's one problem, my, my friend. One problem, my son. They don't have any shadows. The woman who lived above me finally got sick of our building's coin-operated washer that never works, so she removed it bought it and installed her own and told the rest of us to use it for free. When we finally go to war with landlords, she's who I want in charge. I do have to, I have to give it to her. That's, that's good. That's a great idea. Oh my God. I mean, like seriously, talk about biting the bullet for everybody. That's, that's a leader. That's 100% a leader. I would totally follow her into battle. I'm going to put on my Viking helmet that doesn't exist, grab my stupid cheap plastic katana, and off to war we shall go together. Brothers in arms. Wadding, I can't see anything due to this totally awesome sticker. It, 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 for sometimes we have to sacrifice our well-being in order to be awesome, and it's something I've learned growing up in the 90s that is that this is a key factor i've seen so many people break their bones in the name of awesomeness try to reflect on the good times before the quarantine like when this legend ate a rotisserie chicken on his car while stuck in traffic <laughs> well yeah i've seen i kind of seen something like that happen before i mean when you're stuck in traffic what else are you gonna do I mean, it's pretty sh oh, no. to sit in your car the entire time, especially if you have this nice sunny day and you got this warm smelling rotisserie chicken stinking up your car with its amazing aroma. I mean, can you blame the guy? This guy is just awesome for doing it. I, I, I would totally do something like that. I would totally get out of my car. I, I hate sitting in my car when I have to wait for anything. I, I, I'm always a person that has to get up and walk around. I, and I don't blame him one bit. And that's gonna be the end of Mad Lads today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe at MK, as well as dropping that notifying bell. And remember, I also have a channel of my own you can go check out. I do heavily edited review videos. Uh, give that a look-see under Mr. Skids on YouTube. Thank you so much, and stay safe, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.